Oh! Drivers are looking to have the robots be pre-programmed at this point and move out of their community zones, scoring some points just for crossing the tape line. However, they can score additional game pieces during this time. However, crossing ac across that white line can occur additional penalties on your half. The rest of the time is teleoperated. The humans pick up their controllers and control the robot. 1024 just finished placing a cone on the top part of their grid. 3936 also using their loading zone to interact with their human player, picking up a cone off of that tray, which can slide back and forth, allowing for cones and cubes to enter the field. 2197 Panther Tech also making use of their player station, zipping across to their side of the field to place things up in the grid. Remember, it doesn't matter what you place it, but where you place it. Placing down in the bottom of the grid is two points, in the center is three, and at the top is five. So it's always to your best ability to maximize how much each game piece is worth when you're placing it. A minute and a half remaining in this match. 44-85 looking to place one of its cube pieces in the bottom of this grid. Not to be outdone by 1024, placing one in the top of their grid. Currently scores 46 to 52 in favor of the Red Alliance, but a lot can change in the remainder of the time period. 9071 using their player station to pick up a cube. Usually people like to pick these up off the ground, but it is beneficial for some teams to make use of that human player station. Lots of bumper on bumper contact here in the center of field, which we have seen throughout today's competition. It's an opportunity to keep your opponent on their toes, completing their cycles in less time than they would have expected. Lots of tall robots this weekend, so they are likely to tip if they aren't being careful about their velocities. 1741 playing close attention to 9071, trying to keep them from placing their game pieces. Almost 30 seconds remain in this match. We call that end game. Robots will start to make their way towards the charge station. Just contact enough is enough to get points, but if they can get it in a balanced configuration, they get extra points for their team, not to mention a ranking score for the Red Alliance since they did achieve that during Autonomous. The Red Alliance is already in that configuration. The Blue Alliance is trying to match them with six seconds remaining. It flashed briefly, but not quite enough time. Three, two, one. That was the end of qualification match 44. Let's see your scores for location match 44. Your winners are the Red Alliance. With a score of 117, beating out the Blue Alliance is 76. Plenty of penalty points in this match.